The reason why you're watching this vlog so late is because we thought we'd lost all the footage. It was on a broken hard drive. We've since had the hard drive repaired. We didn't lose the footage. So now we've decided to finally edit it. Is that the hard drive? That's the hard drive. It's fixed now. It's fixed. Dude, look how premium and fixed that is. I like that you felt the need to like show them like Visual. evidence. <laughs> yeah, so enjoy this from our New Zealand tour that happened in last November. <laughs> We're in Hamilton. It's the biggest show of the New Zealand leg of the tour tonight. I thought me and putting my glasses biggest. on would make me look cooler, but it didn't. I'm sure it did. Okay. Oh, never mind. This is where we test the same thing that we do every single night, just to see if we still got it. <laughs> Nailed that sound test. That's exactly how it will go to plan. Yeah. It's really good. And that is the Fortnite analogy. Thanks, sir. Reese, no chatting in class. Your name's going up on the board. <laughs> I will be bringing Lance Hawker after class. You little fuck, Reese. <laughs> Oh, 
There he is. Apparently there's a rampant chlamydia problem happening in Hamilton. Good to get a bit educated on the culture here. That's good. That's right, I'm going to Toronto tomorrow. Any warnings about... Wait, how do you speak? <laughs> place that I don't know how to pronounce. That's gonna be, I assume, the majority of the show is people laughing at how I say their town. Da-da. I can't roll the R. Ta-da. That's what, when she said roll the R, I was like, Ta-da. We've got two shows, early show and a late show, and the venue's kind of a vibe. It's at some performing arts center, but it looks like some music venue. There's literally children having music school lessons in this room. I heard a bunch of kids singing Adele, and I got extremely self-conscious. Because, but it's good to know there's some talent in the building tonight. Oh, <laughs> that was I thought that was fucking obvious, but anyway. Uh, oh, hello. Hello. Come on in. Hello. Let's go. Great singing before. Good job, guys. Those were the talented people I was telling you about. <laughs> Yeah. Like the cone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blake was really stressed out. Uh, 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 that cone earlier. Really I don't know why. Watch, the watch, the watch me do this. Much fun, guys. New Zealand, I'm coming back for another tour. That is right. The happy hour tour, so the current tour that I'm on. This is completely different to this vlog. I'm like halfway through a new tour now. <laughs> this vlog was literally filmed almost a year ago. <laughs> Brand new material, new jokes. If you saw my show last year. Oh, there's so many. Oh, this one, I don't even know how to say that. But yeah, I'm excited to come there and get your tickets, lukehidgel.com. All right, back to the vlog. They went over there to have a beer and they just look lonely and sad that they're not, although we're sitting on the floors. So. <laughs> What the fuck are you saying about me, you dog? <laughs> I love airports. We are in Dunedin, in the South Island now of New Zealand. Let's come on a journey. So, as I said, 1914. <laughs> Who's a journey? <laughs> this is where people sit. Oh my God. What's that, man? Uh, that is in case anyone gets out of prison. Have you ever seen The Great Escape? And they go, Wah! and they're like, oh, get in. Ooh. And that's where we'll be down there. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is the Mayfair Theatre, and I've been Luke Hidgel. <laughs> this theatre was built in 1914, and now I'm just regurgitating things that we were told as we were shown around the venue. <laughs> We sold it out, which is dope. There's 400 Dunedinites in tonight. We were supposed to go to the world's steepest street, uh, but then we didn't. So cut to like maybe a JPEG of that from the internet. <laughs> Here's an artist's interpretation of the world's steepest street. Actually, I have a photo of me on it. Okay, well, I'll put yeah. that in as put well. Put that in next to the artist one to see how you did. If anybody at home wants to make their own drawing, it's gonna be like an ABC3 kids show when you get home from school. You can s send ready. it in. Send it to this address. Your artist interpretation of the world's steepest hill in Dunedin. There's been an ongoing argument 
I'm not arguing. It's not yeah. even a discussion. We were both drinking a blue Powerade, and Blake said... I said, hey, Luke, we're drinking a blue Powerade. Isn't that cool? We're like two peas in a pot. How did you say that? I said two peas in a pot. And I said, are you saying that with a D or, an, or a T? Because I, I wasn't sure if I was hearing him incorrectly. And I said a T. And then I said, do you mind me sharing this to the group? Uh, and I smirked. And he said, yes, that's fine. And I ran in and I told everyone. And um, we all had a good laugh because it's, because, uh, I it's was two called, peas in a pod. And I was called some words that we can't put in the blog. We've just kind of been going, no, it's two bees in a pod. And instead of going, oh, I had no idea. Oh, well, you learn something here every day. He has gone on a campaign to convince the people of the world that it's two bees in a pot. And what's your Instagram poll at? Uh, two peas in a pot, 23, to two peas in a pod, 6.42, give or take. It's 97% <laughs> to 3%. And I think 3% of people just hit the wrong option. I've got three messages saying people fucked up their vote. <laughs> Kidwell. Did you guys like Luke Kidwell's show tonight? Yeah, it was really good. Cool. Right, cool. My cheeks are sore from smiling. Yeah. Yeah. Little man boy. Oh, that's lit. Oh, and did you sign it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it signed. We're in Christchurch. This is actually the final show of the tour, technically. So this is where I'm hanging out with Banner. This is where I'm saying goodbye to this show and uh, it's been a great run but um, but yeah it's you know there, there does come a time where you need to move on to bigger and better things we should kiss <laughs> oh, I didn't bail here <laughs> Christchurch make some fucking noise <laughs> journey this tour I mean it was like the biggest tour I've ever done by about times 20 <laughs> that was a big pie it was really interesting tour actually we did a 60 seater in Bathurst in a little pub and we did a bunch of 1000 seaters in a row in WA it's been really good touring with friends and stuff it's it's awesome it's been the most fun by far thanks so much for everyone who came out in Australia New Zealand cheers to that Let's fucking go. Oh, we're so smooth with it. Can I ask you why you chose to gritty with the boys? Um, because gritty with the boys is the best. It crushes every time. It's been a fun tour. Yep, that it has. No one whistles like goodbye, do they? No. Nah. We're at the airport, it's 4am, and I've had 90 minutes sleep, and I'm reassessing if this is my dream. I'll get back to you once we land. It's very hard to dream when you've had no sleep. Remember New Zealand, I'm coming back. November and December. Get your tickets at lukeadjo.com 2023. Woo!